Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. I am hoping that it will let everyone know that I'm here. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm hoping that everyone uh, is having a wonderful Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> um, hello, hello, everyone. I'm going to welcome everyone in to the live stream. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Roxanne. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Penny. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, hello, Hannah. Hello, everyone that is joining in. Hello, hello. Hello, Maria. Hello, Pamela. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Donna. Hello, my Mayhem Crafty Cards. Hello, Belinda. Oh, okay. That's okay, Belinda. I'll probably still be on when you get there. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Jen. Hello, Holly. Hello, Pamela. Hello, all my sweet friends. Hello, Liz. My beautiful sister-in-law. Hello, C. Michelle. Um, hello, Kim. I love it, Kim. Hello, Katina. Hello, Jen. Hello, everyone. Hello, Heidi. So, first things first, everyone, um, I do have to make a quick announcement, which I know that most of you probably saw today on the Bruce and Rowe page. No biggie. I don't want anybody to be worried or concerned. We got lots and lots of emails of, of worry and concern, but we are closing the Brutus Monroe Studio Store again. I don't want you guys to be uh, alarmed about the area. Um, oh my goodness, yes, lots and lots of prayers, Chrissy, lots of prayers. Um, I don't want anybody to be concerned about the uh, closure of the store. Um, again, nothing is wrong. Um, it's just our area is, uh, we're dealing with some stuff again. Um, you know, our, our area has, has, you know, has had a, quite a rise in cases. Um, and with that being said, we, you know, we are taking just a two week hiatus. That's all two week hiatus. Um, making sure that everybody is, um, safe making sure that everyone is okay. Um, obviously a big part of that is, you know, where, um, you know, since there are, um, since, uh, there are, you know, so many more cases in our area, we want to make sure that the staff is safe, uh, just for the simple fact that we want to make sure no one gets sick either. Do you know what I mean? Um, we just don't, we just don't, we don't know. Um, we, we, we want to make sure everybody is safe and, you know, a, a two week window. Um, I think a two week window is a good healthy amount of time to make sure that no one gets sick, to make sure that everyone is okay, to make sure that, you know, if anybody needs to quarantine that we can quarantine. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's just that's just what we're doing, and uh, we will still be shipping out orders. Uh, we will still be um, doing everything that we normally do every day. Uh, it's just it'll be a little bit different because the store won't be open, but not too much different because the store wasn't open for a while anyway. We will still offer um, curbside pickup. We will still be shipping. Um, we will still be shipping orders every single day. Um, you know, our staff will will still all be there. Um, you know, unless someone were to unfortunately get sick, then you know that staff would um, you know have to go and have to go and get tested, and then we would have to you know uh, potentially quarantine and so on and so forth. But we we have a plan. Does that make sense? Um, we have a we have a plan. So um, if anyone were to get sick or if anything were to happen, we have a. We have a plan in place, and that is, um, you know, what what I was what I was hoping for. I was hoping that we could get a plan together as the cases rose. Um, but again, we were able to stay safe, and we were able to stay um, sane and together for, um, I mean, for what four months? Goodness sakes, for four months, four months. Um, so yeah, so we are. Uh, we're just going to continue, continue. Um, yeah, Kim, uh, Christy, I, I agree. Just, I would be, I would just, um, I know it's, it's scary and it's, it's a lot, but, um, obviously we will all be praying for you. Um, and suspicious doesn't mean definite. I want you to remember that. Okay. That's something my mom taught me a very long time ago in the health industry, uh, working in the health industry, excuse me. And she always used to tell me because, you know, she's had, you know, lots of friends that have had suspicions and things like that. Um, and suspicions are not definite. 
So yes, Chrissy, and that's you know that is something to definitely be uh, to definitely be you know to to heighten your concern. But remember that um, you know suspicions are not definite, especially in in a time uh, in a time like this, in the time that we're in. Um, Lisa is doing great. She was taken. Um, she was taken off the ventilator this morning. Um, she's feisty. Um, I will tell you that she is feisty, feisty, feisty. Um, she is. Um, she is. <laughs> well, there you go, there you go, Liz. Um, she is uh, feisty. They're not allowing her to eat until tomorrow uh, because they had to. Basically, they had to do. Um, a, I don't know what exactly the term is called, but they had to do this um, look or this, you know, scope or whatever of her lungs and make sure there wasn't any liquid in them. And there wasn't, which is awesome. So they were able to take out the, um, they were able to take out actually the ventilator very early this morning, very, very early this morning. Um, so her goal for today was to walk from her bed to the chair. And she did that twice. And I think that she thought that maybe her reward for doing that was going to be able to get something to eat. But she's not allowed to eat until tomorrow. So um, let's all hope that she doesn't try to burn the hospital down. Because whew, she, we, we were talking to... Courtney's going to get to see her tomorrow. Um, Courtney's sister has been with her. And um, Courtney's sister said that she is very, very feisty right now because she is not um, she's not allowed to eat yet. And she's not allowed to get a shower yet. And she is very upset about that. <laughs> she is very, very upset about that and very feisty about that. And I said, I'm sure I would be too. You know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't be happy about that. I wouldn't be happy that I wasn't allowed to eat, you know, two days and, you know, couldn't shower. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's, it's hard. Uh, it, she is angry. She is. Uh, it's hard when, um, it's hard when you, you are so independent and, and you, you are so limitless. And then all of a sudden you are, uh, you, you are, have you have many limits and those limits are, are, are imposed by someone other than uh, someone that you know, or, or someone that you're familiar with. So I think it's, you know, it's, um, it's getting, it's, it's good. She'll, she'll be getting better. She will be getting better. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. She doesn't, they don't want her to choke and they don't want, you know, anything to happen to the lung. Um, um, so yes. And then tomorrow is happy Hamilton day. I'm really excited that um, Hamilton comes out on Disney plus if um, anyone has not had the opportunity to see it live, which I'm very, very lucky that I have had that opportunity, um, see if you have Disney Plus. Um, I'd highly suggest watching it. It is an incredible, incredible show. Um, I was trying to. There was a uh, uh, sorry, a thing that came up on my monitor. Uh, so yeah, so uh, it's an incredible, incredible show. It is going to be on Disney Plus tomorrow, and it is just, it's just so good. It is so, so, so good. So yes, tomorrow is Hamilton Day, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be incredible. Um, myself and Rob were very fortunate to see it while it was on tour, um, and it was incredible, just absolutely incredible. And I'm excited that you all will be able to, yes, but it's not good, is not as good as in the Heights. I, Jed, you're going to get me in trouble. You're going to get me in big trouble. It is not as good as In the Heights, <laughs> in my very humble opinion. I like Hamilton. It's great. But In the Heights is just, I mean, In the Heights is everything. Um, first of all, Georgia, I have only watched the first two episodes of um, of Unsolved Mysteries. I didn't get it. I did not finish the second episode because you guys know I take my, um, I take my um, melatonin sleepy gummies. And as soon as I... Um, as soon as I take my sleepy gummies, I have about a half an hour before I am the living dead. Um, and I'm like crawling uh, up to bed. So I watched the first episode and I have lots of questions. Um, I really want to solve that one. Uh, but um, I did not finish the second episode because I was out like a light. I mean, beyond. Um, and I think I've been out like a light too. Uh, a lot just because it's just been like, everything's just been so stressful and everything is, um, just, it's just, everything is just so, it's just so crazy right now. I mean, things obviously are getting, you know, a lot better and, you know, things are, are moving in the right direction, but whoo, life is exhausting right now, right? My friends, it's just, life is exhausting. I mean, it's, it's exhausted just to, to, to do day to day, right? And I mean, that's okay. You know what I mean? It's okay to be exhausted in doing your day to day because right now we're, we're, we're expelling so much more uh, into the world than we, you know, normally would. I mean, it's, 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 um, a normal day is like three now, 
Does that make sense to all of you? Um, so it's it's okay. <laughs> it's believe me. Um, and you know, don't take it from me. Take it from you know others around you. It's okay to be exhausted, and it's okay to um, you know have a rough day. Um, it's coming on tomorrow. Tomorrow, Maria, it will be on Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Ooh, yes, Elizabeth, that is. Ooh, yes. Yeah, we have a new normal, and it is what it is. I mean, we'll, we'll, it's, it is what it is. We'll just do what we got to do and, you know, be, you, you just got to be, um, you just have to be thankful for everything. You know what I mean? You just got to be thankful for every single day. I mean, I always tell you to, you know, to be thankful for every day and to be good to each other every time we, you know, we get off of, um, we get off of these live videos, but just, I mean, just love one another. I mean, we can't hug, we can't really hug one another yet, but hug one another, you know, like, like, um, from afar, you know what I mean? Yeah. Take a nap. Yeah. Um, Hamilton will be on Disney plus Jerry. Do you have Disney plus for the grandkids, Jerry, the little ones? I have a feeling you might have Disney plus for them. It'll be on Disney plus. All right. So first things first, um, this launch today. Oh, I forgot to look. I think that it's in the new section. Ooh, yes, be kind, damn it. I don't know if this is... Hmm. I think it's under the new section. You guys will have to let me know. This is the brand new Gigunda 12 pack of our um, glitter stock. Now, um, the only reason we're coming out with the um, variety pack first is... That's, oh, damn it, Janet, that's one of my favorites. Um, so the reason we're coming out with the variety pack first is because after I sneak peeked and told everyone that we would be doing a 12 by 12 pack, so many people sent us emails, and I appreciate, oh, good, thank you, Petty. I appreciate you all more than you will ever know um, in asking for us to launch a sample pack or a variety pack first. So we made this happen before we had the, the open stock 12 by 12. So I'm sorry, but you'll be able to get um, this 12 by 12. So I'm not sure what the price point is. Um, if you are a subscriber, I think it's a pretty a pretty good price. Um, this, this six by six paper, or excuse me, 12 by 12 paper, it will retail at 299 open stock, but you will be able to, of course, uh, use your discount uh, on this. So you'll be able to use your discount on this if you are a subscriber. Um, but this is the same wonderful, beautiful, luscious glitter stock that you know and love from Brutus Monroe. Um, if you're an ASMR enthusiast, there you go. There's your little bit of ASMR for the night. So let's go through the colors very, very quickly. 2124, can't beat that. It's just, I mean, it's less than... Um, Less than, it's about $2 a sheet. So you're saving almost a dollar a sheet. Um, so hello, Amy. I love you too, my friend. Uh, so first we have this beautiful red, this beautiful red. And look at this glitter. I just, I want to do this all day because the glitter doesn't come off and it just makes me happy, happy, happy to own a, um, to own a craft company. It's just, it makes me so happy. So this is the 12 by 12 in the red. Then of course we have the 12 by 12 in the orange. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I just love not a stitch of glitter on my hand. It's the best. Look at how beautiful that is. And 12 by 12. I mean, this is big. I mean, look, it's going to cover up the whole screen. So that we have, um, then we have this beautiful, it's almost like a brassy gold. It's hard to explain. Yeah, we really have to see it in real life. It's like a brassy gold. But look at how, my, my goodness. Shining, shimmering, splendid. I don't know where my Ikus is. She might be babysitting again. But we did uh, we did make sure to count the um, glitter stock for her today. Then we have this beautiful green. And again, this is 12 by 12. So if you love the Brutus Renault glitter stock and you've used our glitter stock in the past where the glitter does not come off, um, it will... Um, it is... Yeah, like old gold. Yeah. Are your eyes sparkled out? <laughs> I received a free glitter paper pad from somewhere and threw it. What? I... Yeah, it's great. Um, I sure can, Amy. Absolutely. So then we have this beautiful, beautiful green. Then we have a light blue, and I'm really into this light blue. All of a sudden, I don't know why. Um, oh, Tina, it takes overnight, 24 hours. So we changed it today. So it should be changed tomorrow morning, Tina. 
Sorry, I guess I should have prefaced and said that. It takes 24 hours for it to go through the system. But we did change it today. So you'll see it. You'll see it. Um, you'll, probably, you'll probably see it like tomorrow afternoon, I'd say. Okay, so this is the beautiful light blue. Oh, it's so pretty. So beautiful. Okay. And then this is the dark blue. So I want you to be able to see the difference between the two. It's you're going to, it's going to be really hard to see on camera, but this is much lighter than this one. So this is the dark blue. And again, oh, I just love, 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 love. Um, if you have never used the Brutus or no glitter stock before, I promise you, you will love it so much that you will. I, I mean, I, I always say to try to, you know, order yourself too, just for the simple fact that you're going to love it so much that you are not going to want um, – you are certainly not going to want to uh, to put this down. I mean, it's just it's just wonderful. It's wonderful, wonderful. Um, oh, my goodness. Aaron, that is the cutest thing I ever heard, and I love it. And I hope that you and Maria and Karen and all of our locals are there. Michelle, everyone's there. Um, so this is the dark blue. Then we have the eggplant. This eggplant or this, you know, purple – it's just so, so pretty. Hello, Heather Collins. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, I just love it. So there's that one in the 12 by 12. Then we have the beautiful, and it doesn't look like that on screen. You'll have to see it in real life. This is a beautiful pink. Just absolutely beautiful pink. I can't wait till you get this home. I really can't. I cannot wait until you get this home. Um, we're not going, we're not going anywhere, Heather. Oh, um, everyone's planning their outfits for the day that we reopen the store already. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever heard? Aaron, uh, our Aaron Ferry has already planned her outfit for opening day. I'm so excited. Here she is. Roll out the red carpet. We had so much fun at work today. We really did. We have as much fun as one can have with a mask on. I can tell you that much. As much fun as you can have. As much fun as you could have with a mask on. It's a true story. True, true story. So here we, hello, Carrie. Back, had to defuse the situation. Well, Shannon, you get, get them. Go get them. Here is the beautiful silver. We all know and love silver. Um, of course, you can use this uh, silver. Um, you know what I've always wanted, Aaron Ferry? And I think that we're going to do it for the spring windows next year. I've always wanted to do like a really, really cool, um, like Mary Poppins inspired window decorations. And you just reminded me of that with the carousel horses. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that, I think it would just be so much fun to do like a Mary Poppins themed window. Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, we can make it happen. Um, we're doing rainbow, uh, rainbow Christmas this year. I mean, hopefully we'll have our, have our holiday windows. Um, okay, so there's the silver. And then last but not least, we have the gold. And again, I hope that all of you have the opportunity at some point to use... Um, to use this incredible glitter because this glitter oh my goodness it's just it's just absolutely just stunning okay so we have i'll put it all out i want rainbow glitter paper Woo, carol we might be able to make that happen you'll just have to let's keep your eye peeled we might be able to do that so we have the um gold and then we have the beautiful silver Okay. Then we have, yeah, I think I'm redoing the Christmas tree this year with all rainbow decorations. It's been like very traditional for the past couple of years. So I think that, I think it'll be, um, it'll be fun to do something different. So then we have the, um, pink. Love you too, Aaron. Then we have this beautiful purple. Thanks, Debbie Blair. Then we have this beautiful blue. This is the dark blue. Then we have the light blue, and it's going to be really hard to see the difference between the two of these. Oh, you can kind of see it there. See? There you go. Then we have we should it is Ecos Gold. That's funny. Then we have this beautiful green. Then we have what I would call like kind of like a pirate's gold. It's like a it's like a dirty gold kind of. I mean, and I don't oh, please please don't take any offense to any pirates out there. I don't mean pirates are dirty. I mean just like a pirate dirty gold. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be in trouble. I, I apologize to all of the pirates that are watching this live from their Jolly Roger. I don't mean dirty pirates. I mean it's like a, a pirate gold. I don't know. It's just it's pretty. It's like a copperish. Yeah. Okay. So then we have. A beautiful orange. Then, last but certainly not least, and this one's going to throw everything off uh, because it's red and this camera does not like red. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, now if that's not the most beautiful, beautiful rainbow you have ever seen in your life. Antique gold. That's perfect, Laurie. Oh my goodness. Thank you. You just saved me. Antique gold. Antique gold. Whew. I am I'm keep I'm just gonna keep talking. Keep talking. So this is the beautiful rainbow antique. I like that. Antique. This is the beautiful uh rainbow assortment of um beautiful, beautiful uh glitter stock that you can now get in a 12 by 12. So uh I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I hope that you think it's beautiful too. Um it is uh they are turning around, they're going right home. And so and and Rightfully so. They're saying, I'm out of here. We used to support Brutus Monroe. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and pop this back into the bag. Right? I love it. Okay. And of course, I will sign this pack. I will sign this pack. Um, they can't, true, they can't get into the store for at least two weeks. So. All right, so let me sign this pack. So someone that um, that orders it <clears throat> will get this pack. There we go. So let that dry. Luckily, I used the permanent marker. So there you go. Someone is going to um, someone is going to receive this pack tomorrow. Oh, let me put that over here on my stack of things that I have to take to work. I always have a stack of things that I must take to Oh, I should draw a little pirate on here so you know that it's this is the legitimate one. I'll draw a little I'll draw a little skull and crossbones. There you go. Now you'll know now you'll know that this is the real deal. Quick little, quick little pirate flag on there. There you go. You are all sensitive about fighting the pirates of Pittsburgh. I know. It's okay. The Pittsburgh pirates are, they do, they do enough uh, offending of themselves. <laughs> oh, that's a great question, Kim. Um, I came up with the Create Your Own ending, oh goodness, four or five years ago. Um, and I just always say, Create your own ending because everybody. I wanted a. I wanted a phrase that would work in crafting and outside of crafting. So, um, <laughs> inside of crafting and outside of create your own ending works really, really great for the arts and crafts community because everyone has the ability to create their own ending when they're making a card or they're creating a project. But I really, really wanted a phrase that would work in life as well. So everyone has the ability to create their own ending, whether that is. Um, with a job, um, and an ending doesn't have to necessarily mean the finish, the 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 final of it, um, the dirty pirate booty trade. Right there, we are Yahtzee. Um, so that is high step. That is uh, infinite in life. That the um, creating your own ending does not have to be a finish, or uh, a, a, there's no finite uh, ending to it. It is just being able to create, uh, you know, the, 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 the end point to, um, what you began or where, you know, it's, it has many, many meanings and, um, it just stuck with me for, uh, for a while. So I kept it, <laughs> I kept it and I still, uh, still love uh, saying it to this day. Um, all right. So tonight we are going to bring back some old faithfuls. We haven't talked about these in a while, but for some reason, it does, yes, and it doesn't need to be perfect. Everyone can create their own ending. You can absolutely create your own ending. Uh, we have not used the Velveteen Glazes in a while, and I'm really excited to do so just for the simple fact that I love the Velveteen Glazes and also my sister, Heather Lee White, the first sibling of crafting. Um, hello, Gypsalina, the first sibling of crafting, Heather Lee White, who is in here uh, with us this evening. Um, she made a whole bunch of these today because I don't know if you guys know this. Um, I know we do, Penny. I have to get. I have to get on that. Um, the um, my sister made a ton of these today. She did. She made a ton of these. Um, so with that being said, she would love for, she is, she is the first sibling of crafting, which I think it would be cute to have first sibling of crafting t-shirts. Don't you think that would be cool? Um, 
I think they would be cute. Uh, the first sibling of crafting t-shirts. I don't know. I think they would just be fun. Um, so these are the Velveteen Blazes. Um, the reason not only am I using them tonight uh, because um, I love them so much, but also because my sister made um, a whole bunch of batches of these today. Because if you guys don't know this, while Lisa is out recovering from her surgery, um, my sister, again, the first sibling of crafting, she is, uh, she's taken over for Lisa. And she, she jumped right in, head first, feet first, arm first, um, spatula first. Um, and it was, um, it was, uh, very interesting, uh, her first day today. Um, her, her, her first day today being Lisa was very interesting. She, um, she did say today at the end of the day, cause me and my sister generally at the end of the night, everyone's gone for the day and her and I sit and we, you know, have sister, brother, sibling talk. And she said, no one is ever, ever, ever allowed, ever allowed to, um, to take Lisa for granted <laughs> because, um, Lisa is, she is, as you all know, uh, she is an, a very integral part. Oh, yesterday was your first Lisa day. I forgot. Um, she is an integral part. Yeah, but I feel like today was, today was a lot, a little more aggressive. Um, but yeah, she, uh, she said no one is ever allowed to take, uh, Lisa for granted again. Um, because we, you know, she learned very quickly firsthand what, uh, how much Lisa does. That is for sure. So let's go ahead and let's go through the Velveteen Glazes very quickly. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to be using the Brutus Renault Mixed Media Stencil of the Month. The Mixed Media Stencil of the Month is this beautiful um, daisy background. We're going to use this also if you are playing along. We're going to use two other things tonight to create some backgrounds that we're going to make cards with tomorrow. Uh, a lot of you guys said that you really, really like when we do uh, a two-part live where we take um, something and we create it, then the next day we finish it. So I think that's what we're going to do for a little bit, um, or, or at least for tonight. So these are the number eight mixed media tags. Uh, so many of you uh, have actually been purchasing these recently. So I want to go back um, to them. I love them because they are this kind of natural, um, almost like a, I don't know if this is like a, um, like a, it's it's like a manila color, but it's almost like a it's almost like a creamy vanilla color. You can see next to the white, it is a very creamy color. And in this pack, you get one, two, wait, one, one, two, three. I think you get twenty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, 20. So you'll get 20 of these. So we're going to make some tags tonight because I, I want to do some... Um, oh, awesome, Carrie. Thank you, thank you. I want to um, attach some of these to some orders. I think it'll be really cool. Really, really cool. And last but not least, we are going to use the Slimline Rainbow Collection 8.5 by 3.5 uh, uh, paper collection. Um, so this is this is something brand new to Bruce Renault. This is the slimline. This is the paper that's already cut down to slimline size. Isn't that great? I love it. I think it's wonderful. Um, and we are going to use the um, the black as well as the white tonight uh, to create ourselves some backgrounds. So I think this will be super fun. Um, if this is sold out, which it very well may be at this point, I'm not 100 certain. Um, because it has been so incredibly popular, so, so, so incredibly popular. Um, if it is sold out, I apologize. Uh, of course, we will be getting more in. Um, but, uh, if it is sold out, you know, just, it'll be, it'll be soon, 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 soon. Um, beautiful glitters, cardstock. I got my rainbow box and all this stuff yesterday. Thank you. Oh, good, 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 Laurie. Oh, I'm so glad you got it. We literally just got to those. I'll tell you right now, Laurie, my sister. Um, Heather W. She, I'll tell you, she was, I mean, she, it was like she was trying to solve the riddle of the, the riddle of the Sphinx to make sure that you got that box. She literally, I think she jumped over the cash wrap to make sure that that label was printed the minute that we got those, uh, those glitter markers. She was, um, she was, she was on top of it. So she, uh, oh, it's sold out. Oh no. 
Well, that was quick. Oh, it's not sold out yet? Okay. It's not sold out. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So let's go through the Velveteen Glazes real quick, and then we are going to start to uh, show you how beautiful this stencil is going to be. So the first one I... Um, the first one that I uh, got, oh, uh, Mimi, no, the markers are not here yet, but I will let you guys in on a little secret. Um, did you, did, does anybody have the, does anybody have this? Or was anybody waiting for this? Was anybody waiting for this incredible marker stand? I don't have mine here, but I have the box. If anybody was waiting for this, just a quick heads up. I just got like, we got like four cases of them back in, okay? I'm glad that I just happened to have the box here. This is the stadium marker stand. It is incredible. Pamela, aren't they great? I love it. I think they're the best thing ever. So just if you search marker stand, that's what it is. It holds um, up to, I think it's 48 markers, 60 markers. It holds up to 60 markers. It's dirt cheap. It's seven ninety nine. I mean, it's just this. I, I mean, I don't want to say cheap because cheap me generally means that it's not of great quality. Um, but it's it's just it's so. Well, soon you'll be able to put some in it, Heidi. Soon you will. Um, this holds sixty markers. It, they're just so. You have to post a picture, Pamela. Are yours all filled up? It's just I don't know. They just look so. They look so good. They just look really really good. But I want to let you know that that is back in stock because I know that there were quite a few of you. Um, Oh, good, Maria. Good, good, good. Yeah. Well, some of those, see, I like the big ginormous marker storage for like all of the markers that I don't use all that often, but those, that little one is good to keep on the side of your desk for the ones that you use all the time. Does that make sense? That's what I use it for. Um, all right. So we have banana split is the first color. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a time to be alive. Look at that. Yes. There will be 24 to start. Oh my word, that's incredible. So banana split is the first one. It is not possible to have too many. Then we have grape jam. You guys, these colors. It is not a solid piece, Donna. It comes, uh, you put it together. You put it together. Oh, that's a great idea, Pam. I didn't even think about that. Then we have fresh kale. I wish you could see this color in real life because it's not showing the real color. Cost efficient. That's it. Cost efficient. I like that. That's what I'm going to tell Uncle Robbie next time, uh, Liz, that, I, that we're at Costco. I'm going to say I'm being cost efficient by, on, by, by only having one cart today instead of two. <laughs> so that is um, So that is the... Fresh kale. That is okay, Larry. Please uh, bring your excuse to the front table. You can set it up here, and we're going to continue with class. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Larry. I'm so excited to see you. Thank you for thank you for making it uh, late or not. It does not matter. Um, so then we have uh, beautiful blush. Oh my word! I was just. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be a beauty guru. I'm a beauty guru. There we go. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? Okay, so we have that. Then we have Pumpkin Patch. Ooh, doggies. This is my favorite color out of all of them, and I'm sure you guys know why. I just love this stuff. It's just so cool. It's just so cool. So different. Velveteen Glaze. A deposit. I love that. Uh, then we have Blueberry Bushel. Also another one. My goodness. Would you say, oh, they're kind of stinky? Yeah, it's just what it's the reason that they the reason that they smell like that is because they're non-toxic. Um, if we wanted to take uh if we wanted to remove the smell of them, I guess you could say, um, they would no longer be non-toxic. So we wanted them to be non-toxic. That's why. That's why we wanted them to be non-toxic. That's all. So there is the um blueberry bushel. Then we have Cherry tomato. Oh, two cards is more time efficient. So there we go. 
Yep, just spray extra squeaky clean. Yes, it's beautiful once it dries. So then we have cherry tomato. So yeah, remember that the velveteen glazes are non-toxic. They are non-toxic. So if the if you think they're a little stinky, which I mean they're not, I don't think they're. I mean, I don't think they're. I mean, they're not terrible. So it's like a it's like a pasty, I guess, smell. Um lima bean. So pretty. Yes, the summer scents are a flying. Okay, so there's the Velveteen Glazes. So now let's get to going. Let's get to rocking and rolling. So I'm going to grab a piece of uh, white paper that we have used before as a background. The reason that I want to grab this white paper again um, is because I love to like kind of add layers on top of it. Um, so that if I do uh, go ahead and use this for something, I can use that from behind. You know what I mean? And since you forgot the best one. Oh, yes. Happy Heather. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kara. All right. So let's grab our stencil and make sure that we're going to have the right amount of surface area. We'll do one at a time. Yeah, I didn't bring all... I don't think I brought all of them home. I don't think I brought all of them home. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape this puppy down, grab our purple tape. Oh, she wish they smelled like their names. Yeah, I guess they, I guess they could, um, I guess we could maybe make them smell like their names at some point. That would be fun if banana split smelled like banana. We could. Yeah, we could. All right. So now we're going to also tape down our, well, let's use pixie spray, shall we? Here's a pixie spray, right? Isn't this stencil out of this world? The, it, I, it is the color of my essence. It really is. Orange is, is everything I've all, I just, I just love orange. I just do always have. All right. So we're going to go, ahead, whoopsies. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop this down here. Let's see. Like so. Remember, your pixie spray is going to adhesify this. So it's going to look just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, all I can think of flock. Um, yes, it's very soft, Heidi. It's almost... So basically, if you have the chroma glazes, the chroma glazes are a beautiful, beautiful, shiny... Um, like a... I don't know how to explain it. It's like a... It's like a very glossy, a very shiny glossy, whereas the Velveteen Glazes are matte. So they're just beautiful. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, my friend. Um, yeah, so it's like a matte. It's a matte color. All right, so let's see here. So I think we'll start with beautiful blush into cherry tomato and then maybe some banana split. I think those will be really pretty together. So yeah, they're like, they're completely matte when they're dry. 100% matte. All right, so let's grab our little... Oh, you know what else I should do? Mm. I didn't even think about this, but I guess we can do it this way. Yeah, let's do it this way. This is how I always get super, super messy stencils. This is, I guess, a, a quick tip. If you put your tape down on the side here where it's not going to touch, you can lift this tape up and then your your place, uh, your, you don't get like, it doesn't get super messy. All right, so let's pop this down onto this side. I like a so. All right, there we go. Perfect, perfect. All right. So now let's grab the cherry tomato. We'll start with this beautiful color first. And we're just going to kind of go from side to side. And remember, if you use the pixie spray, Um, and remember, just always get that right back in there. The, um, Lisa is doing great, Lynn. She's doing great. Great, great, great. I'm actually going to add a little bit of tape down here at the bottom, too. Because you can never be too safe, you know? There we go. All right. So now we'll take the beautiful blush. Oh, good, Belinda. Hello. I'm glad you made it back. So now we're going to use the beautiful blush. And 
And I believe, um, you might want to stop me if I'm incorrect, but I believe that these are available still um, as a bundle. I think you can get all of them. Hello, my Fatima. How are you? Well, he said you shouldn't be. He said, binders, keepers. All right, and now we will use the beautiful banana split. And I can't wait till you see what this looks like. All right, so there's that. You ready? You're doing good? Good, good, good. Doing okay? That's all we can ask for, right? That is all we can ask for. All right, so I'm going to grab my, well, do I want to use, yeah, I'll use this. We'll just use the corner of it. This is going to soon be going into the washing machine anyway. This is the Brutus Monroe. Um, oh, my goodness. Where have you been, Heidi? It does come in both sizes, and it's not as sticky. It is not as sticky. So it's um, it's a little more forgiving. You haven't even seen the reveal yet. My sister just said, now I need the stencil. She hasn't even seen the reveal yet. All right, let's peel up the tape. This is the best part, right? Sleeping gummies, yes, they are. I can't remember which ones I get, but uh, it's the best thing ever. Knocks me right out. Lights out, night, night. Night, night. <laughs> Lights out. It is the stencil of the month, Aaron. It sure is. All right, so let's lift this up and let's take a look. Are you ready? This is my favorite part. Oh my goodness gracious. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Gets me every time. Every time I tell you. Look at how beautiful that is. All right, so let's lift this puppy up here. All right, grab it so that we don't get paint all over ourselves. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's, I'll have to, I'll go grab what they are. I'll go grab them. Look at this. Now, I'll show you it once it look, once it's dry tomorrow. Because see how it looks kind of shiny now? I want you to remember, hi, Scoozy. Hello, my little Joey. So, see how it's shiny? Remember this tomorrow. Remember that tomorrow. Hold on. I'm going to go get my gummies so I can show you what they are. And they're not like some crazy CBC, CD, whatever gummy. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I should have told you to talk amongst yourselves. They're called Sleep Well. They're by Hello Bello. I just took two of them, so we only have about a half an hour. <laughs> we only have about a half an hour. Um, well, they have melatonin, chamomile, passion flower, lemon balm. Um, you take two of them. Take two of them like a half an hour before you go to bed. And I'll tell you right now, one time, I have a funny story for you. One time, I ordered like a case of these when the quarantine started because I was so nervous I wouldn't wouldn't get them because they're like the only thing that makes my like mind slow down at night and I can go to bed. Um one day Rob took two. Mm -mm. Rob took one. And when he took one have you ever seen Weekend of Birdies? 
Um, he took one, and I swear to you, I'm eating. I took two of them. I, that's what I said. Yes, it's Kristen Bell's company. Yes, yes, yes. Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard, I think. Yep, it's Kristen Bell's company. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yep. Look at how cool that is. That was an accident. Okay, so Rob took one because he was like, "They don't put you. To, they don't make you fall asleep." But he like thought it was a big joke. He literally, and now what I'm going to do? All I'm doing now is I'm just scraping off the extra. You see what I'm doing? Scraping up the extra off of here. It's not going to look like it's doing much, but I'll show you in a second. I swear to you. Oh, I'm not going to fall asleep. It takes like an hour. We have a good hour. It doesn't happen like right away. But if I start talking funny, you'll know they're kicking in. But yeah, they have like vitamins. They have all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. Yeah, I have to. Um, I still have to take my vitamin C. I take a big, big, big dose of vitamin C every day too. Um, I don't know where she is. She's. I'm sure she'll like send me a message and say, "I can't believe I wasn't here to tell you about the uh, to tell you to talk to you about the things you were saying." Yeah, hello, Bella. Oh my goodness, they have the best stuff. Best stuff. And then I also was going to show you my um amazing hand sanitizer that my wonderful sister-in-law introduced me to. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm sure she will potentially comment on what it's called. So look at how cool that is, just how quick and easy. Um, I'm sure she'll comment on what it's called. So I'm going to show you what this looks like tomorrow too. Isn't that so cool? Um, but she, um, Carolyn, my goodness, first of all, you missed a whole lot of badness. I'm glad you made it though. Monroeettes, I love that. We need Monroe at like pink jackets, but they should be orange. Hello, Sue. Well, I'm glad too, because they now you can see how they work. Um, but it's a hand sanitizer that it's a spray hand sanitizer, and it's in the baby section. And now I swear by it. I tell strangers about it on the street. I mean, literally complete strangers, because that's how much I love it. It's the it's the coolest. It's just the best stuff. Best stuff ever. Um, orange. Yeah, we should do orange jackets. Monroe Etz. I think that's good. I drink emergency every morning. My comment was about, oh, about emergency Z. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm not interested in all that. Um, but I take the, um, I take the, uh, yeah, because I bought everyone the Target had. Um, I take the emergency gummies. I take those every day. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Grove Collaborative. That's where we get our, um, we get our sprays. That's where we get our sprays um, for the store. I went a little bit crazy on, um, I hate to, I hate to bring it to everybody, but I went a little bit wild on Bath and Body Works today because we use their candles for the store to make the store smell good. Um, and whew, I bought a lot of Bath and Body Works today. Yes, baby bomb antibacterial. That's it. That is it. All right, so for this one, I think we're just going to use the lima bean, just the lima bean. Baby bomb, that's it. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells like like bananas and coconut. Oh, my goodness. So I gave um, – I have two incredible friends, Colin and Ryan, that are working so hard to get the downstairs uh, at Brutus Renault completed. Um, my dream office and my dream um, inventor space uh, is going to exist soon. Um, probably about we're probably about two to three weeks out. Um, but with that being said, um, it is uh, I gave them both one because, like I said, I bought like I mean, I bought I think everyone the Target hat. And uh, when I when I bought out the Target. Because they had plenty, don't worry. But Mrs. Myers, that's what I get. Yep, that's what I get, Chrissy. That's what the sprays that we get for um, the store. I love their. They had a scent in the fall last year, and I hope they have it again this year. It was Mums, and it smelled so good. Rob doesn't like it, but I use it all the time. Um, Inventor Center, that's it. Uh, but I gave. So Ryan and Colin have both been working very, very hard. 
tirelessly to get all the electric done and get all of the molding done and get the new ceilings put in and the new walls put in. I mean, just around the clock. So I gave them both one and they looked at me like I was crazy. I mean, I knew they would. I mean, it said beach bomb or baby bomb or whatever the heck on it. And it was hand sanitizer. And I told them both, you know, use it. You'll, I think you'll like it. I think it's, it's something that's really cool. And um, they both looked at me like I was crazy. I'll tell you right now, today, they, I gave it to them, I think, on Tuesday. Today, both of them said to me, and I quote, oh, my goodness, that was a really, really great, really, really great hand sanitizer you gave us. I said, I know. I told you it was. I knew it would be. I knew you would love it. That's why I wanted to, that's why I wanted to give it to you. You guys are my friends. That's why I thought you would love it. Okay. So now... Oh, goodness gracious. Let me put this over here. Now, look at that. Isn't that so cool? Oh, good. Elizabeth, oh, good. listen, I'm not going to. I'm obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. I wish it came in a bigger bottle. Carolyn, uh, first of all, I thought we talked about this. <laughs> I thought we talked about... Um, uh, canoodling with others other than us. Um, oh, orange cinnamon candle. Uh, Shannon, I think I ordered like 10 candles because they're doing that semi-annual sale that happens like constantly. Um, I use the lima bean if anybody um, is going to ask that question. Um, and I just always go crazy. I went buck wild. Buck wild on that website. Cuckoo, cuckoo. She said, you are excused. Okay, excused. Canoodling, it's one of my favorite words too. That's is that gonna be on the is that gonna be on the Christopherisms? Probably. Canoodling. Whoopsies. Okay. Oh, I get over your own canoodle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cuckoo cachoo. Cuckoo cachoo canoodle. I love it. I love it. All right, so now we're going to do one more of these. Oh, oh, I just am so happy that we can still, I'm so happy we can still do this. If, if anything happens to the internet during all of this madness, I'm going to have to start, we're going to have to start figuring out Morse code. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be like, I'm, I'll tell you, I'll be like this, like the Titanic. That's how we're going to have to communicate. If anything happens to the internet, Lord forbid, if something happens to the internet, I'm going to be like this trying to talk to all of you. You're just going to hear this coming out of Brutus Monroe. I'm going to be, to I'm going to be talking to you like, um, I'm going to try, I'm going to be trying to talk to you like an SOS. Like that. That's what it's going to be like. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So let's see here. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to, but I will be like this. That's how that's how I'll be trying to get in contact with you. Please, Carolyn. I need you to work the switchboard for goodness sakes. Can you get get it together, Carolyn? I need you to get out your get out your Morse code book. I need you to get on the switchboard. This is life or death. I need you on the switchboard. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to do one more. This one will do a couple of different colors. I need you right on the switchboard. Right on the switchboard. Collins will get on the switchboard, too. All right, we're just smushing that down real quick. Let me grab some tape. There you go. Listen, if any of you knew what Morse, if you were up on your Morse code, you would know that I just told you about the entire Halloween release. I just told you everything. I just told you every single thing that we're releasing. I mean, if you were uh, if you were up on your Morse code skills, I just told you I released a whole bunch of secrets. You better go it, listen. I did. I told you until the whole the whole winter, the whole release, the whole release. Well, there you go, Carrie. Oh my word, Cosmo! I sure did. That's what that meant. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, you keep me young. You keep me young. <laughs> you keep me young. 
<laughs> All right, so we are going to start with Grape Jam, and then we're going to move into Blueberry Bushel, and then into Fresh Kale. Oh, my goodness. Heather. Heather, she is cut off. There you go, Carrie. I told you. Um, <laughs> I am. She's, she added, to, she got a strike. Heather Collins gives people strikes all day at work. At work. The gummies, oh no, the, the gummies don't make me loopy. The gummies make me tired. They make me tired. This is just, what you're seeing now is just, um, Four months of desperation. <laughs> Four months of desperation is is uh is where we're at. Four months of 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 hoping and praying and praying and hoping. All right, so we have the grape jam. And then we're gonna grab the blueberry bushel. Blueberry bushel. Okay, whoopsies. All right, blueberry bushel. And again, we're just gonna kind of judge those together. Okay, and don't worry if you um, contaminate the two, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, yes, an angel. They're all, they're all angels at work, don't you know? They are all angels. Then we have fresh kale. This will be our last color. And I like how they, you know, can... And we might have some um, that kind of goes underneath of the... Some that goes underneath of the stencil this time. And that's only because... Um, that's only because of the fact that we didn't reapply the pixie sprays. But that's okay. They're very, very vibrant, Linda. They're like super, super vibrant. That's what I love about them so much. They're very vibrant. All right, so we did our last little cleaning there. All right, so let's pull this guy off of here. Very interesting. So there's that one. I love Carol Burnett, too. I did, too. I think I might watch some Carol Burnett tonight. I'm only going to be able to see, like, one episode, though, because I told you. Time's a chicken. As soon as I take those gummies. But I told you, Rob was like... Rob was um like like the like weekend at Bernie's. He was like crawling up the stairs after he took his uh after he took his um melatonin gummy. I am. Look at that. Now of course I'm gonna show you first of all, Carolyn. Episode one, I have so many questions, so many questions about episode one. We'll have to, we'll have to discuss it a different, um, we'll have to discuss it a different time. Um, but episode one, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of questions. Um, so look at those colors and I can't wait for you to see these dry. Now this one, hold on a second. This one is already starting to dry a little bit. So you'll be able to kind of see, well, no, it's not even close to dry yet. I lied. Um, but see how, I want you to note, I want you to note, um, it would be a good pattern for Chucks. Note how shiny this is right now. Because I want you to, when I show you this tomorrow, and you see how it is not shiny at all, you'll know why. Does that make sense? I didn't watch the one in all French yet, Carolyn. I didn't get that far yet. I fell asleep. Okay, so look how cool that is. I love that pattern. All right, so let me grab my piece of scrap paper. That's a real piece of scrap paper from underneath of here. And we're going to clean this stencil off. Remember, um, I clean my stencils generally by using some of uh, the squeaky clean. Okay, so hey, you see the name that people right, Belinda. So this is the blue slush, and somehow, oh my goodness gracious. How do I do that? Oh, yeah, I do need to make a print first. You are so right. So, so right. Okay, so let's make a print. 
Let's make, wait, do I have a piece of, mm, 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 oh, I do have a piece of paper. All right, so let's, uh, people are with their fireworks already. All right, so let's pop this down right here. We'll make a print real quick. Thank you so much, Pamela, for letting me know that, for reminding me. I keep forgetting that you can you can do that with these. Okie dokie, look how gorgeous. Look at how Gorgina that is. Isn't that so cool? Did you just hear those fireworks here? Um, I don't have any regular chroma glaze, but I can show some of that tomorrow. I can. All right, so some blue slush. There, she said fire, fireworks at Bruce Renault at three tomorrow. Um, Cheryl, you have not been to the store lately. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That would be cool, though. Cheryl, you need to come visit us at some point. <laughs> now that's even cool. Hmm. So what I normally do is I would just, you know, go over and clean this. Um, I do have a, what I call a stencil tray. It's also our spray tray at Bruce Renault. I'll just go and pop this right on, into that little spray tray with some water um, and a little bit of squeaky clean. You can actually take a little bit of your squeaky clean. Soon we're going to be selling something that's called a squeaky clean concentrate that you can use and just put a little bit in your, you'll see. Um, but you can put a little bit in your uh, spray tray. Um, it's going to be, it's like a, um, it's a stencil cleaner. And you'll see, it's really, really great for cleaning your stencils. It like the 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 gunk from your stencils will kind of just like lift off of it. It's really, really cool. Um, that's a, that's fine, Gyps. Come on down, come on down. Um, but yeah, I just throw it in the spray tray and let it sit there, and it's great. But you will see that we'll have it's a, it's not. I don't think it's actually called squeaky clean concentrate. I think it's like a stencil cleaner. You'll see it soon enough. But I squeaky clean is safe enough that I do this all the time when I'm washing my hands. And um, oh my goodness. I'm telling you, blue slush. I don't know if this is sold out. This might not be. I don't think this is sold out. Um, it might be, but I want a little bit of this too. Oh my goodness. Dark purple boss powder. Um, I think we have one, don't we? Maybe not. I think it's called eggplant. No, we don't have a dark purple. I thought we had an eggplant. Yeah, I think we have eggplant. Is it not in stock? Hmm. Okay, so this is what we've done tonight, and this is what we're going to use tomorrow. So first, we did this beautiful tag. See how gorgeous that is? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, we might be out of eggplant. That's okay. I think we could restock. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful lava bean. We'll show this tomorrow. These beautiful colors will work this far. First of all, Ekis. We were literally praying. Oh, see? See everyone? I said, everyone said, where is our Ekis? And I said, I think she might, probably is babysitting. She's probably babysitting. And um, she'll be here. Um, oh, Mulberry Night Shift is gorgeous. Um, I'm showing you some of the... Uh, Velveteen glazes with the um, Velveteen glazes with the stencil of the month. Oh, you saw eggplant. Okay, I'm not sure if it's still. Uh, I'm not sure if it's out of stock or not. Yeah, Mulberry Night Shift is gorgeous, but it's a it's a a um, chroma um, duo tone. It's a duo tone, so it goes from dark to light. Yep. The party can officially start. Our little Ekis is here. So that is everything that I have for you guys tonight. Um, oh, first of all, Ekis, we know all about that. Because uh, mine and... Um, oh, you want this for your office? Okay. Mine and my sister, the first sibling of crafting Heather White, our mom has been a nurse for almost 40 years, I think. 42 years, 43 years. Um, and we know all about... All about nursing shifts. We sure do. We know all about nursing shifts. Um, 
So that's everything that I have for you guys tonight. It's okay, Ikas. You could just, as soon as I'm done, you can click on the video and watch the whole entire thing and just pretend that I'm live. <laughs> um, uh, you got your gold card stock. Oh, thank goodness, Ikas. Um, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you so much for being a part of my life. I adore all of you so, 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 so much. I know that I will never, ever, 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 ever uh, be able to tell you that enough, but I try to tell you as much as I can. You have no idea. Um, <laughs> you have no idea how much uh, Melbury is the embossing powder that is a darker. Uh, it is a darker purple, but it's like a shifting one. Um, it shifts from dark to uh, it's really, really pretty. Um, so I appreciate you all so, so, so much. I can't wait uh, to see all of you guys very, 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 very soon. Um, I will see you guys actually tomorrow. We're going to be doing these uh, really, really cool um, backgrounds. The vitamins are kicking in. Nope, not yet. It's getting there. It's, I, I can feel it's starting to slowly drift in. Um, but thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait to hang out with you tomorrow. Um, I will be back tomorrow, Ikas. I will be doing uh, more stuff with these. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Remember to create something every single day, whether that is a beautiful background uh, like these with your um, products, your monthly products, or your own ending. I appreciate you, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, my friends.